Comparing fractions and word problems. You successfully compared fractions using pictures, number lines, and calculating the least common multiple. Now we'll use those skills to help us compare fractions within word problems. Don't be scared because they're word problems. You have the skills to successfully solve this. Let's jump on into the question so we can use the steps to help us solve. The problem reads, Fatima visited two-thirds of her favorite websites this morning. Alyssa visited three-fifths of her favorite websites. Who visited a greater fraction of her favorite websites? Well, we know that Fatima visited two-thirds of her favorite websites, and Alyssa visited three-fifths. Step number one says list the multiples, determine the lowest common multiple. So we're going to find the multiples of the denominators just 3 and 5. The multiples are 3, are 3, 6, 9, 15, 18, and 21. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. The least common multiple looks like it's 15. Now, after we found the least common multiple, which is 15, we need to make this multiple the least common denominator between the two. So we will put these fractions equal to something over 15. Now our goal is to find out 3 times what is equal to 15? Well, we know that 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So we need to make sure we multiply both the top and the bottom. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. We'll come down here to 3 fifths. 5 times what is equal to 15? We know from the problem above the answer is 3. Remember to multiply both the top and the bottom by the same number. 3 times 3 is 9. Now that our fractions are over the same denominators, we can compare who visited a greater fraction of their websites. We see that 10 is greater than 9, so we know that whoever visited two-thirds of their favorite websites visited more than the person who did three-fifths. We'll come up to the problem and we see that Fatima visited two-thirds. Therefore, the answer is A. Fatima visited more of her favorite websites this morning.